a boost for teachers and teacher aides in special education or SPED schools. Their salaries will go up by between 12% and 17% as early as this year. There will also be more professional development opportunities. The Education Ministry says these make the profession more attractive and builds a competent workforce. Nikhil Katar reports. There are plans to increase the number of SPED schools to 28 from 25 by 2030. The Education Ministry will up funding to such schools in phases to raise salaries. By 2026, SPED teachers can expect monthly pay ranging from $3,000 to over $7,000. Teacher aides will take home between $2,000 and $4,000. From this year, the starting salaries for teachers could be up to $3,600 before they pursue a diploma. Aides may get up to $2,100. All these are to also meet the diverse requirements of children with special education needs or SEN. Our vision is for an inclusive Singapore, where families with SEN children feel at ease in their community, supported by understanding friends and neighbours. So I urge all Singaporeans to partner us in realising this vision. As of December, there are about 1,700 teachers across the 25 schools with a projected 350 needed by 2030. It's not just about attracting, it's also about retaining teachers and aides. We adopt what we call a multidisciplinary approach. Teachers not only teach, you do need to work with allied health professionals, the, the speech language therapies, the occupational therapy. So a lot of collaboration is needed. So this kind of skill set, um, it's not easy to come by as well. She adds that most teachers are relatively young with a desired defined career pathway. Burnout is one major reason teachers leave. But they will also soon have more leadership course opportunities. Each school will be appointing what's called a school staff developer to drive planning and implementation of such opportunities. It's something one school already has in place. One very key role is uh, he or she who ensures that the training and professional development programs are customised to the needs of the staff. Knowing what the staff needs and being able to meet those needs in an engaging way and growing the community professionally that impacts positively our students, I think to me, that will be a job well done. In last month's budget, it was announced that the maximum school fees for Singaporeans will be reduced to $90 from $150, benefiting about 3,500 students.